And uh, called Camper Van Beethoven. And we went straight to the top of the chart. Because of a song called called Take the Skinheads Bowling. Actually it is it's actually a pretty remarkable story. We recorded a record for like four hundred dollars. We got our friend to put it out on his label. And uh, my cousin had told me that if you send a, if you wanted the BBC DJs in London to play your record, you actually had to send a handwritten note to them, written to each DJ. Each DJ needed their own note, right? I mean, my cousin told me that. He went to school in London, so I thought, figured he was right, so we did that. And he actually was right, because they did listen to our record, and they played our record, and it went, it got in the top 40, right? Technically, in the UK. Pretty crazy. Just mail a record from California, and they play it on the BBC. Of course, we didn't know this for about six months because there wasn't any internet or anything like that, right? The, how I found out about it was I got the equivalent like of an all caps text from my cousin. It was like a postcard that said, they're playing you on the BBC, exclamation point, exclamation point. It's like three weeks later or something like that. Anyway, instead of playing that song, I wrote a song about starting that band. Because so. it's the meta show here. So. I was working in a liquor store in San Bernardino Summer of 1983 Liquor store got robbed while I was stocking up the cooler Grabbed the 40 and I went home and wrote a song I wrote a song called Take the Skinheads Bowling Won't you take the skinheads bowling, take them bowling it's a song that don't mean anything It's a song that put me on a different trajectory Take the skinheads bowling, take them bowling Co-founded the band with a guy named David McDaniel Had a calling from God and left the band he went on missions all around the world I toured around meeting girls that like the song called Take the Skin Heads Bowling Take the Skin Heads Bowling, Take Them Bowling I wrote a song called Take the Skin Heads Bowling Reverend McDaniel built an orphanage Sadly, you've never heard of him and you barely heard of me Though I wrote a song called Take the Skinheads Bowling 